Back in 17, Microsoft introduced Fluent Design, which has since evolved into a sleek, modern aesthetic found throughout Windows apps. Now, fully integrated into Windows 11, it delivers a smooth and intuitive experience that feels seamlessly built into the system. In this video, part two, following my earlier introduction, I'll show you eight apps that perfectly capture fluent design, blending beautiful visuals with real functionality. Stay tuned until the end to see them in action. Let's dive in. Number one is Fluent Search. Let's be honest, Windows Search is there, but it's often slow, clunky, and somehow manages to show everything except what you actually need. That's where Fluent Search comes in. It delivers instant, lightning-fast results as you type, thanks to its highly optimized search engine. But it doesn't stop at just finding files and apps. Fluent Search digs through browser tabs, search history, open windows, basically everything on your PC, all within a clean, modern interface. It even offers screen search, letting you navigate your entire desktop using only the keyboard. Perfect if you're tired of reaching for the mouse every few seconds. You can customize it with plugins, refine searches using tags, and it's designed to be super efficient, barely using any CPU. There's so much packed into this app that I can't cover it all here without making the video way too long. But if you want a detailed breakdown or a customization guide for daily use, just let me know. Number two is Fluent Terminal. For all the developers out there, Fluent Terminal is a game changer. It features a sleek interface built with UWP and web technologies, making it look right at home in Windows 11 while staying lightweight and functional. It supports PowerShell, Commod, and WSL tabs, plus built-in SSH and MSH connections for seamless remote sessions. Fluent Terminal offers tabs and multi-window support so you can run multiple terminals without cluttering your desktop. Customization is fully baked in, including comprehensive theming options. You can import, export themes, or even bring your favorite Mac OS themes. It also supports editable key bindings and a search function to quickly find commands in your terminal history. Shell profiles let you switch between environments instantly. The app is lightweight, modern, and fast. The only hiccup I found was not being able to open it as administrator by default, but here's a quick fix. Go to Settings search for developer settings and enable the sudo option. That way you can run admin commands using sudo just like on Linux. Number three is WowMail. If you've ever used the Windows Mail app, you know it's fine until it's not, showing ads, slow syncing, a clunky interface, and annoying bugs. That's where WowMail comes in. It feels like the built-in Mail app Windows should have had from the start. For example, Windows Mail won't load Gmail profile pictures, but WowMail does. WowMail is a native, fully responsive email client built specifically for Windows. It's blazing fast, super lightweight, and actually enjoyable to use. It supports everything you'd expect and lets you customize each account separately. Plus, it runs in the background so you still get notifications even if the app is closed. No more babysitting your inbox. You can set different modes for the reader and the app, and the UI is buttery smooth and highly customizable without draining your battery. Both apps open the same page, but WowMail uses much less memory. The only downside, the free version supports up to three accounts. For more, you'll need the unlimited accounts add-on. But honestly, given how polished this app feels, supporting the developer is worth it. Number four is Sucrose Wallpaper Engine. If you're into customizing your desktop, Sucrose is an absolute must-have. It completely changes your desktop vibe. Want new wallpapers? Just open the store and pick your favorite from a great selection. For example, I'm using the Dreamline download. Just enable it with no bugs or sizing issues, unlike Lively, which hasn't gotten updates lately. You can even create your own wallpapers from scratch. It's smart too. It won't drain your battery or CPU, pausing automatically when you go full screen, run a game, or start other activities. It's optimized for laptops as well. The only current downside is limited multi-display support, but that's being worked on. In display preferences, you can set wallpapers on a single screen or stretch them across multiple monitors. Soon, you'll be able to assign unique wallpapers to each monitor or apply the same one individually. You can also set wallpapers to auto-switch every few minutes, randomly, or in a set sequence. Number five is Screenbox Media Player. Screenbox is sleek, minimal, and designed for modern PCs, a breath of fresh air compared to clunky media players. It works like a gallery, giving you access to all your videos and audios, whether on your PC or a network drive. 
Just add a folder and all your media loads instantly. Its gesture-friendly UI is smooth and stunning with light and dark themes and clean transitions. Unlike players that require codec packs, Screenbox just works thanks to libc, playing almost any video or audio file. You get a clean picture-in-picture -picture mode for multitasking, Chromecast support for easy TV casting, and persistent subtitles that remember your preferred language. Plus, it's open source. No ads, no telemetry, no premium tiers. Just a clean, modern media player that gets out of your way. Number six is Fluent Flyouts. Fluent Flyouts replaces your standard boring flyouts with beautiful, modern, fluent-style ones that perfectly match Windows 11's design vibe. After installing Fluent Flyouts, you get a modern calendar flyout that even shows seconds, a fluent remake of the classic Windows 7 clock flyout with a full analog clock and calendar view, plus a super clean brightness flyout that feels like it's from 2025. It might not work work perfectly on all monitors. If you need brightness control for those, you can use Twinkle Tray, which I covered earlier. Fluent Flyouts is lightweight, starts automatically with your system, and uses almost no resources, so you'll barely notice it running, except every time you admire, you admire how much cleaner your system looks. It's fully open source, and a battery flyout is already in the works. Honestly, if you want to polish every part of your Windows 11 experience, Fluent Flyouts is a no-brainer. And these two apps I mentioned in other videos deserve a closer look. Number seven, Fluent Info. One feature in Windows that gets a lot of use, but often goes unnoticed, is the Properties menu in File Explorer. Personally, I've always found the default Properties menu to be reliable over the years. It does the job well enough. However, if you look closely, you'll notice it hasn't really evolved much in over a decade, aside from a simple banner at the top. That's where Fluent Info steps in to shake things up. Fluent Info offers a fresh, modern redesign of the Properties menu that fits perfectly with the Windows 11 Fluent Design aesthetic. Beyond just looking better, it provides configurable settings, allowing users who want to see a more extensive amount of file information to customize what's displayed. Whether you're a casual user or someone who needs detailed file insights, Fluent Info gives you the flexibility to tailor the experience. And to top it all off, it's completely open source so anyone can explore, contribute, or customize it further. It's a small but powerful upgrade that enhances a fundamental part of Windows without complicating things. Number eight, Nora. All right, I might be bending the rules a bit here, as this app is still in development at the time of recording, but you can download the .exe file directly from GitHub. Once you do, you'll get access to a super modernized media player that really stands out visually. Now, I'm not entirely sure how it performs on the technical side just yet, but from a design standpoint, I have to say this is one of the best looking music apps for Windows. It features a sleek, modern design with options for light mode, dark mode, and an accented color mode, which automatically picks a color from the album art of the, of the song you're playing to influence various UI elements, adding a dynamic, personalized touch. The animations throughout the app are smooth and polished, giving it a very fluid and engaging feel. One of my favorite features is the mini pop-out media player, which lets you keep your music controls handy without cluttering your screen. While the app is still a work in progress, especially when it comes to navigating between different panels, it's clear that with a bit more fine-tuning, Nora has the potential to become a top-tier music player for Windows users who care about both style and functionality. And that's it for today's video. If you found this video useful, hit that like button and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.